as seeing the extent of Jacqueline's injuries, the damage to her cheeks, her nose, her mouth, it can be jarring. But her father says she doesn't worry about what other people think. So neither does he. Still, the reaction they got has been a welcome surprise. 22-year-old Jacqueline Durand wanted to share the story of how two dogs she'd been hired to pet sit attacked her, biting her more than 800 times. Uh, my leg, my arm, my face. I, I thought I was going to die. More importantly, she's wanted to share the story of her recovery, which will likely take years. I didn't ask her this, so I think that it's time to show who I am now, and I can't be scared of it. Her father, John, calls her the most courageous person he's ever known. And she's such a light of hope. She's such a bright light. Uh, that's how we feel, but that takes on such extra special meaning from people who she has never met. And since her interview aired on CBS News, her family has realized just what an impact she can have. We've seen and gotten so many comments in that exact same vein, Andrea. People from all over the country who do not know Jacqueline, who have reached out as, as a person that represents incredible optimism and hope and courage. Jacqueline, he says, wants to keep spreading that message of resilience. Is to truly reach out to people and, and let them know that there is, there is reason to go forward and to push ahead no matter how dark one day may seem. His daughter is three semesters shy of graduation from UT Dallas. She's determined to return and finish her degree in supply chain management, just like her older sister. The way that she responds to Brecca is, is just beautiful. Always close, the two are even more so now, as Bereka supports Jacqueline and helps her care for her wounds. So I have um, kind of a secret hope, call it a fantasy, um, because Bereka graduated in May of 2020. Uh, and that was, of course, the year of COVID. So she didn't have a commencement ceremony. One day when Jacqueline walks that stage, uh, I would love for her sister to be there with her as well because um, they deserve to share that honor together. It's an image of a happier future he's hanging on to. As determined and optimistic as Jacqueline is, her father says every day is still a struggle. I spoke to UT Dallas today, and his secret hope of seeing his daughters graduate together is no longer a secret. That request is now being passed along to people who just may be able to grant it when the time comes. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.